Ready, um, it is Kat, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I am going to be showing you one of my favorite crock pot recipes. I've been invited by Carrie at Weight Watchers with Carrie to uh, take part in a collaboration. And so I'm more than happy to do that. I love the crock pot. Um, this recipe is a chicken recipe, um, coca van. And um, I'm gonna show you, um, I've made it before and it's a little more difficult, but this one, throw, you, using the crock pot and just tossing everything in, this makes it very easy. It's extremely flavorful. Um, for me, I like to serve it on rice, like a beautiful yellow saffron rice or something because it's kind of a dark color when you get done with it. Um, but it's extremely tasty. And then you also end up with a broth that is like, oh, makes a very wonderful rich sauce, right? You can, you can do a lot of stuff with it. But anyway, um, I am using drumsticks. Typically, you'd probably use like a, a whole cut up chicken. I'm using only drumsticks. Um, I do want the skin and the bones in there for this recipe. It's just gonna make it that much more rich. And so I have 10 drumsticks, so I have divided it into 10 servings, and each serving is coming out to three points. And you use bacon in this too, so it was like, I was very pleasantly surprised after I got it all fixed into my uh, Weight Watcher app to end up with three points. So anyway, here we go, let me show you how I make it. Before we get started, I wanted to encourage you to check out the description box and all of the other people who are participating in the collab because there's a lot of us. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is make um, a whole separate folder and just put all my crock pot recipes in there. That way I can go to them anytime I want. Uh, so I'm gonna have a lot of fun watching them. So check them out and definitely check out Carrie at Weight Watchers with Carrie. And Carrie, I wanna say thank you for inviting me to participate in the collab. Thanks, had a lot of fun. everybody so this is going to be my slow cooker recipe for kakwava I'm sure I'm saying that horribly um, I have made this recipe from a cordon, Le Cordon Bleu recipe before and also a Julia Child recipe this is not those <laughs> this is like cat's version of something easy <laughs> so it's gonna be um, tasty I think still so I have um, all of this chicken in here. These are drumsticks. Um, so two packages of like six in each pack. And so I'm gonna use those. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of this olive oil. I'm gonna use one quart, so about four cups of this chicken stock, because you want a nice rich stock to use. I'm gonna use probably about half of the, this bacon in here. It's about half a pound of that. I'm gonna use a quart of, typically in this dish you would use like a dry red wine. Um, this is more of a sweet red wine from Spain. This is a Rioja. I like cooking with this one. It always seems to do well in um, recipes. So I'm gonna be using uh, a quart, four cups of this one. Um, and then I'm gonna use um, a few carrots here, which I'm gonna dice up. I'm gonna use about uh, three or four, about four bay leaves. And for me, I love garlic, so I'm gonna use about four crushed cloves, and you can use two or, or none if you don't like it. I'm also gonna add, typically you would add to this dish like a mushrooms. Um, I want my kids to eat it, so sans the mushrooms. Um, and I am going to add some artichoke hearts just for some giggles there. Um, and then when we're all done, we're going to I'd have to do a voiceover because the oil just got so loud. So I've got the two tablespoons simple, of olive oil in here flavorful. heating up so and I'm get just started. gonna brown the chicken. I'm gonna do half of it at a time. And then after that, I'm gonna get it all into the crock pot while I go on and add in the bacon. And I'm gonna render the bacon in here. And I don't want it crispy, I just want it cooked through. that's nicely rendered I am going to add in the chicken stock and it spilled just a little bit and I'm also going to add in my red wine at this point and I'm going to bring that to a boil 
All right, so here it is at a boil. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna add it to my crock pot. I'm gonna add all of these things to the pot. My smashed garlic, my diced up carrots, and then these bay leaves are small, so I'm gonna use six of them instead of four. And, um, and my artichoke hearts. And this I thought was really neat because these artichoke hearts, it's one point for like a quarter cup. Amazing. I've got everything added to this. It really smells like France or Spain. It really smells so good. All right, all ready. Um, so I'm gonna put the lid on this and I'm going to cook this on high for about three hours and then I'll check it and see if we need to go longer than that. So my hubby wanted to have some, so I just served him up a little bit. There's some fresh parsley, and I'm gonna make rice for later, but he wanted to have it with uh, some bread. All right, so I'm gonna give him a taste test here. All right, my hubby didn't wanna do a taste test, but he's gonna do it. It's very hot, so be careful. Honest. Oh wow. Mm. Honest. Mm. Put wine in there? <laughs> you can't tell? I, yeah, I, I think I, that's what I taste. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot in there actually. That's real tasty. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. Me too. Oh, thanks. I'll be honest. <laughs> Did you like it? I loved it. <laughs> All right then. All right. Well, tell them. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> he didn't know we were rolling. Okay, so let me just open it up to say I wanted him to tell you a little bit more about how he felt about it because it was kind of quick and it looked like he was rehearsing it or something. <laughs> I wanted him to, he hadn't yet finished the dish, so I wanted to talk a little bit more about it. Um, but I wanted to say that it was an amazing um, broth that was left over. It was really great. And I had a whole bunch of it, so I put it away in the fridge and I'm going to be using it in sauces and in soups and things like that because it's, I don't want to waste it. It's so good. Um, so the kids ate it tonight. I made some yellow saffron rice and I served it with that for them. And they were a little bit put off at first by the purple color because I don't usually serve them purple chicken, but they, they all ate all of it. Um, so they didn't have a problem with that. And I think it's just something that they gotta get used to, right? I mean, kids are very visual, so. Um, but as far as the flavor goes, I thought it was amazing. Okay, so, yeah. tell me a little bit more about how you felt after you got done eating it. After I got done eating it, I felt that it was a hearty dish, and it was really tasty, and um, I liked the artichoke hearts. Oh yes, the artichoke hearts. I would have to say that next time I would add three times the amount of artichoke hearts because they had a really nice mellow flavor and I think that they complemented it really, really well. So if you're not gonna use mushrooms, I would definitely go with artichoke hearts. And I got the bag um, of frozen artichoke hearts at Trader Joe's. I liked it uh, a little uh, with some extra broth in my bowl. Uh, oh yeah. More like a more like a soup as opposed to like a dry dish. I, I thought it was... Did you like the parsley on top? Oh, that was really good. It was a nice yeah. little a little addition. Okay, yeah. Um, Were there onions in it? Garlic, no onions. Garlic. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. got a real hearty taste. I mean, it yeah. was a real, real tasty dish. It was very rustic. Rustic. I thought, yeah. Um, one thing that I wish he had done was have it with rice. Mm -hmm but the rice wasn't ready yet and he wanted it earlier, so he just had it. And he had it with Ritz crackers. I was like, are you really gonna have that with Ritz crackers? <laughs> but he liked it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna have everybody else's links who is participating in this collaboration, Slow Cooker Curl collaboration, down below. I wanted to say thank you to Carrie from Weight Watchers with Carrie for inviting me to take part in this and um, let you go for tonight. All right, I hope you have fun watching everybody else's videos and seeing what they come up with. I know I will. All right, love you guys. I'll see you next time.